So we were there in the courtroom as that suspect was arraigned less than three hours ago. Jamie Seymour live in Oregon City with what we know so far about disturbing details. Jamie. Jeff, Liz, Kara Taylor was last seen at her home on July 25th. And two days later, she was reported missing by a man that police now say is responsible for her death. Now, we must warn you, some of these details may be disturbing to hear. Earlier today, just after midnight, Oregon City Police arrested 47-year-old Jamin Peter Fritch at the Oregon City home Taylor was last seen at. And earlier this afternoon, he was charged with second-degree murder and abuse of a corpse. Though Taylor has not been found over the weekend on Saturday, Oregon City officers, along with the Clackamas County Major Crimes Team and FBI, executed a search warrant at her home and other locations. Detectives reportedly found evidence that Taylor died by homicidal violence, leading them to issue an arrest warrant for Fritch. The investigation revealed that after she was reported missing, but before he reported to the police, Defendant made multiple trips to Home Depot to purchase zip ties, tarps, a saw blade, a black coat, and contractor bags, among other things. In court, attorneys went on to say Fritch allegedly admitted to dismembering Taylor and disposed of her body at multiple city dumps, adding that he told police it was so they wouldn't be able to find her. Police also say Fritch described himself as a danger. The court ordered he be held without bail. and He'll next appear on August 14th. Now, investigators are still working to find Kara Taylor's remains and recover them. They're asking anyone with information to contact the Oregon City Police Department. Reporting live in Oregon City, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News. All right, Jamie, thank you.